11 boys remain on 44's top 44 countdown of the best high school athletes of the Sports Report era. Of those 11, seven played college football, and five of those got at least a tryout with the NFL, including number 11, a panther, a bobcat, and a lion. A ferocious cat on the gridiron, but gentle lamb off of it. Jordan Thompson, Parkway, Class of 2008 Football. The 2007 Division V Defensive Player of the Year, Thompson was all Mac at linebacker, punter, and quarterback, throwing for over 3,600 yards and 27 touchdowns in his career, while rushing for close to 1,700 yards and 23 scores. Twice the MAC Defensive Player of the Year. In basketball, named all Mac First Team as a senior, also played baseball. You know, he, that was a kid you just like watching. Like, this is what this sport is all about. You're out there having fun. Obviously, he was having fun because he was so much better than everyone, too. But just just loved the game of football. And, you know, it just, it just shown. And, and especially in Jordan's case, he just elevated his team to levels that they haven't seen since. You know, uh, you know that, that's the best Parkway team that, uh, you know, they've had since I've been at Marion Local. Uh, like, like you said, he was a multi-purpose, a dominating guy. And those guys that make it to the NFL, that's how they are. You know, they, 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 if you look back, he was a heck of a, a basketball player, a baseball guy, and, and just can, can, you know, do pretty much, like you said, he really probably wasn't a quarterback, but he played quarterback. Uh, big, strong, smart. Gosh, such a really, really nice, good, good, uh, nice young man. Even now when he comes back, he's, he's almost, he's this mythological figure in Rockford that, I think in, so many people would have been disappointed had he not played basketball or not played baseball. So there was a great group of athletes there and I think he knew that he could do something special with each sport so he couldn't take one off and there, I think he felt a lot of pressure from the from people in the school district to say, you know, we need you on the basketball team, we need you on the baseball team. Two years ago at the first FCA Legends of Northwest Ohio banquet, uh, he was on his way to the banquet, he was one of the speakers, one of the featured athletes. And there was a car that pulled up next to him, and in the car was maybe a girl in her 20s that was crying. And Jordan rolled down his window and said, are you okay? And she said, yeah, I'm okay. And they moved on to the next traffic light. Jordan caught up with her, rolled down the window again, and motioned for her to get off to the side of the road. And there he invited her to the banquet and said, whatever you're going through, I think it's going to be an encouraging night for you. Here's a ticket that I have. Why don't you come? And that girl came, and she was encouraged by stories from Jordan and other people. But that's just... The type of person he was, when he saw a need and when he sees a need, he meets it, he fills it right away, so compassionate, and everything is just so heartfelt when you have a conversation with Jordan Thompson. I think he wanted to play linebacker in college. I think that was his natural position, and that's where he felt he'd play best. And Miami kind of put the bug in his ear that you can play tight end. I think it shows a lot about him that, that he, he didn't have any problem taking a, I was the star at this, I was a star at that. Now I'm going to be one eleventh of this puzzle. He didn't have any problem with that. Uh, he, he's a, a team player, a natural born leader, and I think it speaks a lot about Jordan that, that he made that transition so seamlessly. At Ohio University, Thompson was a two-year captain for the Bobcats and spent the 2014 and 15 seasons in the NFL with the Detroit Lions. Jordan Thompson, number 11 on 44's Top 44 Male Athletes. Thompson's senior year, Parkway went 8-2, only losing to Coldwater and Marion Local, who both went on to win the state title that year. Despite that record, the Panthers finished ninth in their region, missing out on the playoffs. Following that year, the MAC went to the current unbalanced schedule to avoid a similar situation. Join us next Friday as 44's Top 44 continues with number 10, as we stay in the MAC with a state champion in two sports. And of course, each Friday from now until June, we'll continue the countdown of 44's Top 44 Male athletes right here on the Sports Report.